Good morning, everyone. It's Bella again. Today, I'm in a little bit of a different setup, um, but I basically um, came across my dad's old trading cards, um, some of which are actually from his childhood in the 70s and 80s, and he told me I could look through them. So, super excited about this. Um, just to, I, I, I have sorted them a bit. I haven't really paid close attention to the players, or at least I've tried not to. So we've had, we have um, these kind of cutout sort of things. I'm assuming it's from some sort of fast food place. We have these that kind of look similar to the Sports Illustrated things. Um, we have some cards from movies, I believe Star Wars. Um, Jaws 2 and the Hulk are in here. And then we have a few um, kind of miscellaneous cards. I believe, I believe these, I believe this one is the only one from his actual childhood. So this is, yeah, 19, what does that say? 69? Huh, that's weird, 69. Okay, oh, yeah, so. Dang, that's old. I thought this had 89 for a minute. Okay, we'll set this one to the side. Um, but yeah. Uh, here we have some Yankees cards from the 70s and 80s. These are just some modern baseball cards. Um, these are football cards from the 70s and 80s. These are football cards from the junk box era and modern day. And then these are some uh, packs. I'm not gonna open them up, um, but I just thought it'd be cool to show them on camera. They're just, um, I mean, they're, they're modern day packs. So I'd guess like 2016 and up probably. So yeah, let's get to it. I thought I'd start with the funky little cutouts over here. So we have Roger Metzger from the Houston Astros. And on the back, yeah, it says Burger Chef. So I assume this is some sort of restaurant. Maybe these came with like the, the kids, um, I don't know, like the, the kids menu sort of thing. What do they call those? Like Happy Meals kind of? <laughs> Astros, actually these are all from the Astros. Oh, yeah, huh, that's cool. Next we have the Sports Illustrated looking cutouts. I'm not sure if that's where they're actually from, but that's where they, I mean, they kind of look similar. Check out that. This is the old Mariners symbol. Recently, it's been kind of making a comeback. I really like that one. I think that's a lot cooler than, I mean, you know, the, um, the compass sort of thing is cool too, but that's like, you know, that M is pretty iconic. Next, um, yeah, let's actually just look at this. So from 1969, unless I'm reading that wrong, that's interesting. So, Elvin Hayes, that's the NBA, it looks like he played for the Bullets, Washington Bullets. I've never heard of them, I don't know, I don't really keep up on basketball, but I'm not exactly sure if that's a team anymore. And we probably won't have time to get through all of these, so I'm just gonna go through the ones that are from like the actual 70s. So we have some Star Wars cards here. So that's it. Destroys an Imperial ship. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, Mark Hamill. I actually, um, I, fun fact, I actually follow Mark Hamill on Twitter, and he's, he's pretty entertaining. I really like him. Star Wars aim for action. Ben Kenobi. C-3PO. 
Ah, this is the famous dinner scene at Cloud City. There's a Lando back there. Kind of betrayed them. C3PO. The Millennium Falcon. That's a pretty iconic card. <laughs> Stormtroopers. That's cool. Anything with like the original Stormtroopers is just so cool in my mind. I get that they needed to like rebrand, but like, you know, I, I always liked the old Stormtroopers better, you know? So this is from Jaws 2. I've never actually seen any of the Jaws movies, but I've heard that they are um, interesting to say the least. Chewing out Mayor Vaughn. <laughs> Calm before the storm. These are 1978. And then this is, I think, yeah, the Hulk. I don't know if it's called the Incredible Hulk, Hulk or not, but definitely the Hulk. Kind of a strange looking guy, you can tell. That was way before CGI, <laughs> or at least the CGI that we know of. Two different people almost. Interesting. How'd you like to be the guy running around in green paint all day? Sounds like a fun gig. Here's a Star Wars card. Sorry, I didn't filter that out. Oh, that one's cool. IG-88 and Boba Fett. Two renowned kind of bounty hunters. That one's actually pretty good condition. Cool. Next, we have the kind of 70s looking baseball cards. So these all seem to be from the 70s and the 80s. So I'd say probably the late 70s, early 80s. Um, we have the, uh, they're not actually autographed, but you have the, the print of the autograph on them. I kind of like this style of it. I know um, Gypsy Queen kind of does that same thing. Batting leaders. This one was from the All Star game. That's from 1978. Oh, yeah. Um, in the comment section, if you see a card that, like, you know, like, I don't know, something interesting about, feel free to share that because um, I don't really know a whole lot about baseball. And I think my dad would be really interested to know something about his cards. He's definitely not planning on like, you know, selling them or getting rid of them, but yeah, you know, it's always cool to brush up on baseball card trivia. <laughs> Mitchell Page from the A's. It looks like, oh, that's the manager card. Huh. I didn't know managers had a card. Willie Wilson. Jim North. Jose Cruz. Another Jose Cruz. And super veteran Johnny Bench card. That's pretty cool. 1983.
Next we have Dave Van Gogh from the right. Wayne Krinchiki. Dave Conception. Here's another. Oh, this is a Bowman card. Interesting. This is from 1960, 89. Sorry. And these are from um, the kind of uh, gum pack eras, where you know you get a pack of cards and it comes with a stick of gum in it, or you know you get a pack of gum and it comes with a card in it. However, it looked at the time. White socks, do you need more? Harry Trappers. Here's the Cardinals, Tony Scott. Will McKinley. John and Monte. Vic Harris. Larry Herndon. The catcher for the Rangers. Batting and pitching leaders. Bo Diaz and Steve Carlton. The Phillies. Blue Jays. There's the picture, Dave Palmer from the Expos. Interesting, I don't know that they're a team anymore. Tommy John from the Angels. And Ed Ott from the Angels. Then we have a few more left of the baseball cards, and then we'll get into the football cards. George uh, Vukovic. Have more people from the Phillies. Manny Trillo. Gary Maddox. That one's cool. From the Expos, the pitcher. The catcher for the Pirates. Ed Ott, again. It's for the Mariners, nice. Now we're getting to lots of Mariners. We have Randy Steen, pitcher. Richie Zisk, that be? I don't know what that means. First base, maybe? Pitcher for the Cubs. As player, as manager, interesting. So he played for the, he was the catcher for the Cubs. Uh, Herman Franks. And then he was the manager. That's cool. Yankees. Jim Spencer. And now to the football cards. All right, so I just uh, kind of looked over the footage from the baseball card deck, and it looks like, um, well, actually, all this in the front row. Looks like um, we're probably not gonna have enough room to do the um, football cards in this video. So um, I will actually just record a separate video for that. They should probably be released about the same time anyways. Um, maybe just, I don't know, a day or two apart. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching the, um, 
I don't even know what this was. <laughs> the uh, movie cards slash baseball cards from the 70s video. Um, yeah, and thank you so much. Um, please tune in either in a few hours or tomorrow to see the football card collection from the 70s and 80s. Bye!